Tyler, how you doing? Good. How y'all doing? Doing well. Um, last time we talked, it was a lot about the Wildcat quarterback stuff, but came up with some big catches last week. Had a nice one when we saw you in practice today. How are you coming along as a receiving weapon for this team? Um, I think it's just, I think all three of the tight ends are something we, we've been able to do since we've been here. We just keep working on at practice, and it just shows, it, have, it has to show up in the game, and I mean, it's something we can do, so it really just, I happen to be open on that play, and see if you threw a good ball, and it could have been the other two, or it was me that time, so yeah. Tyler, obviously there was some big news yesterday. Uh, what was it like when Coach Franklin told you guys about it, and what was the reaction uh, from the players when he, he told you about the mm, Yeah, he did He did a good job of, of communicating with us, and he let us know he was, he was coming to a deal. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a huge stressor on the team, really, because we were just focusing on the opponent for that week, but obviously it's nice to know that he's going to be around for a while, but yeah, it wasn't a huge, uh, a huge deal, like a huge pressure on the team that we were worried about before. What was it like for you guys watching all the speculation unfold throughout the season? Did you have a better feel? For, I'm sure you had a better feel than, than we did at that point. But what yeah. was it like in, inside the team watching that? I don't think too many people were really worried about it or focusing on it. Like I said, there's, there's plenty there's plenty we do during the week, so it's not really like we got time to really be looking into stuff like that. So it wasn't wasn't much of a problem. You knew this deal was done prior to last kickoff against Rutgers? Uh, we didn't know exactly like what it was, but he said he, he, he let us know he was coming to finalizing something, so we knew, we knew something was about to happen. How close were you to being a quarterback last week with everybody being sick? <laughs> it was definitely the closest all year that I'll, that I'll probably ever be, and for years to come, probably close I'll ever be. But, I mean, it's it was crazy, really. Like, you can't – there's not many things you can do to prepare for that. But, like, uh, Coach Franklin always says about building depth is a big, important thing uh, of football. And I think CV did a great job of showing that that's what his team's about. He stepped up and made plays for Sean when he couldn't uh, couldn't go, so it was good. Was there ever a conversation of if all these guys can't go and get hurt that somebody like you might end up being that sort of? So. Uh, I mean, I'll, there wasn't like too many serious conversations about it, but I mean, if that was something that happened and it, it was a situation we're in, I would have, I probably would have had to do it and I would have done my best. We'll see what happens. What have you seen from CV on the practice field? Obviously, we got a long look at him on Saturday, but all season long to get to this point in his progression. Yeah, I mean, I think he just does a great job of coming in and, and preparing every week like he's going to start. And I mean, he's just a great quarterback to begin with. And he works hard. And having Sean help him at practice, who's a, who's a great quarterback, he's been here for a while with experience. I think it's really good for him. And I think that showed up on Saturday. We've heard a lot about the a fit between Clifford being fiery and Yurcich being fiery. Does, does he fit that mold too, Christian, or does he have a different personality? Um, he's definitely he's definitely good. Like he he's a good leader. He can be vocal, but he's more of a laid back guy. I think he's not someone's going to get up in your face. But that's not to say that he's not a competitor and he's he's a fiery competitor. I've seen it in workouts and then I'm watching him play. So he's definitely a, he's a competitor. What was he like in, in the huddle? How was his demeanor throughout Saturday? Yeah, I mean, I think he looked like watching the game. He looked pretty confident, and then. In the actual game, like as a player, he didn't seem like skip. It didn't skip a beat at all. He was just in there, calling plays and doing what we needed him to do. Coach Franklin talks about building this program partly through recruiting and kind of staying at a high level. What does he like as a recruiter, and and what does he bring to you guys one on one that makes people want to play here? Um, I think some that he brought to me when I was being a recruit was just he, he was really real. Like I I really just felt like he's being honest with me. And the stuff that he told me during recruiting, as I'm here now, it's true. Like, he actually is. It's a family. I know he cares about us, and he does a great job of just treating us like like, he, like we're our family. What is Khalil Dinkins doing behind the scenes at the tight end position? Um, and what kind of uh, an addition has he been for this roster, although you know, not necessarily a Saturday impact guy yet? Yeah, I think Khalil's been – he's definitely got a lot better since he first got here. You know, he's put some weight on. He's working hard in the weight room. And he's gotten a lot better just as a tight end in general. Like if something similar with me, I probably I needed a year last year to just come in and work on the fundamentals of it. And I think he's getting a lot better and it'll show in the future. What was it like to get Sean back in practice this week after obviously he had to step out of the game? Yeah, it was good. Obviously he was battling a pretty severe uh, sickness, so to see him out here healthy and working, it's pretty good. How do you think Coach Howell's doing? Yeah, I think he's one of the best coaches I've been around in general. He really he cares about us as people. I know if there's something which is very important for, for me as a player, I know if there's something I need to talk to him about, he'll talk to me. And he's probably one of the more detailed people I've ever met. Like he there's every little detail that matters in our routes and our blocking. 
he's going to go over with us. And I think overall, he's just one of the best best coaches I've been around. I'm excited I get to work with him. You shared a freshman class with Malik. Um, how much has he come along as a skilled receiver versus an athlete since you guys showed up to campus? Yeah, obviously when he first got here, like you said, he's a crazy he's a crazy athlete just testing wise. And I think this year, the year last year. He did a good job of, of honing his craft as a wide receiver and route running and stuff like that. And I think it's starting to show up in games, and I think he'll be he'll be a big weapon. Does he talk trash in French? I mean, yeah. He'll say it's not just trash. He'll just talk in French sometimes when I don't know what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> Any more questions for Tyler? All right. Thanks, Tyler. Thank Thanks, you, Thanks, 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 Thanks